Hey guys, so in this video I am going to teach you how to do a 12 step color wheel. Um, it looks like this. It's really simple. It's not very hard. Um, if you are having trouble mixing colors, you can watch this video as many times as you want. Um, or you can just watch it once if your teacher's making you. Not very fun. But I hope this video helps you a lot. Okay, so first you want to make a large circle on your paper. And then you want to make three smaller circles on top of it. Next, I just took a ruler and you are going to make triangles on either side of those circles. It doesn't matter what size or they don't really have to be perfect. Just make them look nice. So just keep making triangles on either side of the circle so you will end up with six triangles like this. Next we are going to make squares in between those triangles. They don't have to be directly in the center but just make them look nice. Okay, so these are all of the shapes that you should have for your color wheel. So the primary colors are going to be the circles. That's red, yellow, and blue. Okay, so next the squares are going to be your secondary colors. That's orange, green, and purple. Next are the tertiary colors. That's going to be red, orange, yellow, orange. Got to fix my Y there. Um, and then you are going to have yellow, green, which will be like a lime color. Blue green should be a great teal color. And blue purple. And then red purple will be the last one. So this is how your color wheel should look. It should all be labeled before you start mixing colors. So you want to get red, yellow, and blue in your palette. And start with red, paint in the red, labeled circle, like so. Make it look all nice. And then obviously wash your brush, get some yellow, paint in the yellow circle. That looks nice. Okay, now rinse your brush again and get blue. Okay, so now you want to mix orange. You want to take some yellow, fair amount, and then take a very, very small amount of red. Really, really small. Tip of your brush, and then you want to mix it in. You can always add more red, but it's going to be harder if you make a darker orange and you want to make it lighter. That's going to be harder by adding yellow. So now you will paint that in the orange square like so okay okay Mikhail it looks nice okay now we're gonna make green by taking yellow and then mixing in a very small amount of blue you always want to start with the lighter colors and then add in a small amount of the darker color Just keep mixing until you get the right color that you need. 
and then you will paint that in the green square. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Now we're gonna make purple. So since red is lighter than blue, you take red and then a small amount of blue, mix it in until you get the right purple color. Make sure it's all mixed. Then paint that in the purple square. Looks really dark on camera, but it's a really nice purple. So now we're gonna make red orange and you wanna take a small amount of red to mix in with the orange Okay, so you're gonna take your mixture and paint it on the red-orange triangle. We're getting to the tertiary colors now. So now you wanna take a small amount of blue and mix that in with the green that you had before. It's gonna make like a teal color. You wanna make sure that it's all mixed before you start painting it on the paper or else you're gonna have problems. So just fill in that triangle. Okay, now you're gonna make blue purple by taking blue and mixing that in with the purple that you had mixed before. And then you're gonna paint that in that triangle. Okay, so now you wanna start with a fresh palette or a fresh um, amount of secondary colors. So I remixed purple, orange, and green because you're gonna make red, purple, and yellow, orange, and yellow, green. So you need those colors to be fresh. So now I am making red, purple. So start off with red and then add in the purple. Mix it until you think that both of the colors are mixed together. I kind of test the color on the palette after I'm done mixing it to see if that's the color that I like. And then I'm going to paint that into the triangle. That is red purple. I really like this. It's like a maroon color. It looks really dark on camera, but in person it's a really nice color. And then next I'm going to move the yellow and add in a small amount of orange. I might have added too much orange to this. So I rinsed my brush and then I'm going to add more yellow to it. This is why you wanna start with a small amount because you can always add more orange, but I had to add more yellow, which it was harder to do that. And then I'm just gonna paint that in the yellow orange spot. I really like this color because it's kind of like a darker yellow and I really like the transition from orange to yellow, orange to yellow. I think those three look really nice. And then now since I only had a small amount of yellow left, I'm just gonna take the green and mix that in with my yellow to get a lime color. And then I tested that to see if I really liked it. So then you just wanna fill in that triangle or in the spot, because I kinda went out of the lines. Okay, so that's it for my color reel video. I hope that it helped you a lot with mixing colors.